John Henry, Tribute Speech. We've all been placed in difficult situations. It's part of human nature. We all want to think that when we have to make a difficult decision, that we would have the courage and the character to make the moral decision. Although we all like to think that we can rise above, many of us would fall flat. One woman who did not was Meep Guys. You may not know who Meep Guys is, but you may know those whose lives she protected. Anne Frank and her family were living in Holland during the Nazi invasion. When Anne's father, Otto Frank, sensed an imminent threat that the Nazis would start sending Jews to concentration camps, he reached out to Meep and asked for her help. She accepted Otto's plea for help without a moment's hesitation. Meep protected a group of seven Jews for more than two years. Would you be able to make that decision? A decision that regarded the lives of seven people being persecuted simply for their religious beliefs? Let's learn more about Meep Guys, a woman who could risk her own life for the lives of others. Meep Guys was born on February 15, 1909 to a working class family in Vienna. At the age of 10, she relocated to the Netherlands as part of a program to help her with her childhood weakness due to malnourishment. She lived the rest of her youth in the Netherlands. By the age of 24, Meep found herself struggling to make ends meet and unemployed. Fortunately, her neighbor found her an interview at a factory that was run by Otto Frank. After me passed her interview with flying colors, Otto set her up with a stable job working customer relations. After working under Otto for several years, Meep and her husband Jan befriended the Franks and their family. Meep and Jan saw the Franks as kind and caring people, for they always helped the guys whenever they needed it. In June of 1942, Otto Frank sensed an imminent threat that the Nazis would start rounding up Jews to be sent to concentration camps. He reached out to his fellow employee, Meep, and asked if she would help him hide his family and three other Jews. Meep accepted his plea for help, and she hid the Jews in an annex at the factory so that no suspicion would be raised. Day in and day out, Meep provided books, food, and more importantly, moral encouragement that the group needed during this troubling time. She risked her life every day because the Nazis in the area would be constantly searching for the Jews. Had it not been for Meep's encouragement and high morale, this group would not have made it as long as they had. For if Meep had even rejected to help this group, they would have most likely perished far too early. For over two years protecting this group, Meep felt that if she held out long enough with her encouragement and her care to this group of Jews, the Nazi persecutions would eventually end. Unfortunately, on August 4th, 1944, the group of Jews was discovered by Nazi officers. The entire group was arrested, along with Meep and her husband Jan. Meep fought tirelessly to try and get her friends to be released from prison, although her efforts were of no avail. The entire group of Jews were sent to concentration camps. The Franks in particular were sent to the concentration camp at Bergen-Belsen, known for being notoriously harsh to prisoners. Additionally, Meep's husband Jan was imprisoned for a period of time. Although when he was released, he and Meep returned to the annex where the Franks and the three other Jews were hiding. There, Meep found the diary of Otto's young daughter named Anne. Meep kept the diary safe in the hopes that Anne would soon return. After waiting one year, the guys found out that the Nazis concentration camps were being liberated. 
Meep was overjoyed, and in order to support the Jews that were returning, she set up refugee aid, supplying the Jews with food and supplies for their return. Meep had hoped that some of the Jews that she helped protect would return home. Unfortunately, out of the seven Jews that Meep was protecting, only Otto Frank returned home. Meep gave Otto his daughter Anne's diary in the hopes that it would give him some closure to the death of his daughter. Had it not been for Meep guys, this group would have perished far too early in the persecutions of the Nazis. Had it not been for Meep's brave decision to protect this group, we, today, would not have a model to look after in a time of trouble. Had it not been for Meep guys, the world would not know the terrors of a life of constant fear, nor the story of a young girl named Anne Frank.